Do you ever leave your clamps here? Or here? Or perhaps here? It can be frustrating, but I have a solution. Let's build a clamp rack. I used three quarter inch plywood for this entire project, and I started by cutting a four inch strip and a five inch wide strip. I would end up cutting these to their final lengths of 36 inches. I cut the side pieces to three and a half by five inches and the middle pieces three and a half by four inches. I should not have cut the middle pieces four inches tall and you'll see why later. To cut the front and the back to their final lengths, I used a stop block, which I should have used before because it is much safer on these cuts and you'll avoid any risk of kickback. Now it's time to measure where the middle pieces will go and to glue and screw them in place. Man, are these glue bottles hard to open. Am I right? Or I'm just weak. I like to use magnets to find where the studs are. This finds the nail that has gone into the middle of the stud, and I like it better than a stud finder. I drilled some pilot holes, and then I screwed it into place. I used two and a half inch screws. Have any of you figured out my mistake yet? So right after I installed this clamp rack, I found a design flaw. Luckily, it's easily fixable. Let me show you what it is. I cut the middle piece the same height as the front piece. By doing this, the front of my F-style clamps will bump into that piece and will also not hold securely onto the clamp rack. I should have cut them just a half inch shorter. No big deal, I'll just use a Forstner bit to remove some material. 